someone else who got something stolen out of his bag when he left the bag unattended for a few seconds. Good morning, everybody. So I've just had my last shower for the next six days. Well, actually for the next five nights, because on the sixth day we'll be down here again and then I'll be able to shower again. Now we are pretty much ready for our hike up the Kilimanjaro, which, as I've just said, will take us about six days. That's the planned route that we will go. Both of us will have a duffel bag. This one down here it was provided by the company that we are tracking with. This one will be carried by a porter. While back there, that's the bag that I will be carrying. That's my day pack. Everything is in there that I will need during the hike, like water, waterproof gear, camera. Evelyn has got the same down here. Her duffel bag, her day pack, and back there, those two bags we will leave here at the hotel because after the hike, we'll come down here again for two nights before we fly back to Barcelona. Well, we are pretty much ready. We will be picked up in one hour and then the adventure begins after a few hours of driving. We were picked up by our guide and his team of porters with a very old bus. We arrived at Machame Gate. It's at an altitude of 1,900 meters over sea level. Mm -hmm. and there behind us, you can see actually our team. We will be a total of 11 people going up. So nine people just for us two. <laughs> I guess we special will be, treatment. yeah, special treatment, it's what I'd call it. <laughs> we'll be well cared for, I guess. So looking forward to the climb. So here we are at Machame Gate, actually waiting for our time to go in. They have to check the bags of the porters because they are allowed to carry a maximum of 15 kilos. And they also have to check that our gear is enough to go up the mountain. So we have to wait for up to one hour here. We can have lunch if we wish, because they gave us a lunch box. We are at this beautiful place, surrounded by, well, by jungle, I guess. And as you've seen, there are some monkeys trying to steal something all the time. They are really, really trying to get close as soon as you're not looking. This was already someone else who got something stolen out of his bag when he left the bag unattended for a few seconds. Anyways, today we should be reaching about 3,000, 3,100 meters of altitude. So we'll go up about 1,200 meters in 11 kilometers. We have one guide, one assistant guide, one cook, I think, and six porters, if I'm not wrong. Anyways, looking forward to the hike, but I am actually a little bit nervous, if you didn't notice. This is it. We are starting our trek. Here we go. Guys. I want to introduce you to Nicolas. He's our guide for the next six days. And he's been doing this for what? 12 years, you told me? Um, 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. 15 years going up and down, up and down. Imagine that. This is really awesome. Also, you've been working as a porter. As a porter. Then two years as a porter. Yeah. Two years as a cook. Two years as a season guide. And the rest years as a full guide. As a full guide. Yes. Wow. And I how mean, many times have you gone up? More than 120 times. 120 times, that's more, more way more than 5,000 kilometers only going up. Yes. Imagine that, he's awesome. Give him a big thumbs up because he's great. <laughs> Kuna Matata. Kuna Matata. <laughs> that looks awesome. Pole Pole is the mantra for this whole hike. It means slowly. Going slowly gets you to the top. And honestly, at that point, I didn't know how slow it was possible to go. But more on that in a later video. Don't forget to subscribe. Here we are. We did about halfway. Now we are having our lunch break. Really looking forward to see what they prepared for us. Wow, it looks great. What do we have here? Some chicken, half an orange. Peeled orange, interesting. Yeah. They always peel the oranges, I don't know why. They do. Uh, mini banana, some nuts. Some, mm. it looks like omelette or naan. Okay, it whatever they do. Some biscuits, okay. mango juice and vanilla yogurt. All right. Yeah, looks good and have a great meal. All uh, right, we just finished our lunch. It was actually really, really good. Well, except for this mango juice, which is very, very, how do you say, chemical, unnatural. 
Wes, I think now it's time to go on. So far, it's not really been tough. It's the first day, it is pretty flat. Well, we are doing 1000 meters, although they told me just now that the tough part will start now. And the air at the moment is no problem. But I guess after tomorrow, when we reach the 3000 meters of elevation, it will start to become more difficult to breathe. We are now continuing our trek for the next two hours. I think it's about four kilometers remaining, but steeper than before. And as you can see around me, it's not uh, misty anymore. Like, well, let's see, that's why we are in shirts at the moment. But it's like the sun is fighting. It's coming and going, coming and going. When the sun comes, there's actually very beautiful lighting here in the forest. I hope to get some footage of that. So now we are 15 minutes from camp and we just left the forest zone and now it's starting the moorland zone which means well less trees different climate different trees different vegetation and more views i guess around us because it's also gonna get colder of course but it's fascinating because in switzerland we always learn this rule that 2000 meters of elevation is the tree borderline above 2000 meters in Switzerland you don't have any trees growing so this is pretty fascinating to us to be this far up have this warm climate rainforest around you <laughs> at almost 3000 meters of elevation it's beautiful a few more minutes we'll make it so we are actually at camp you see how many people there are here well almost no one that's because you know what's going on in the world there are less people less tourists but usually the camp starts here, but we are further up the hill and behind me you can actually see the top of the mountain. How is the uh, Kibo. Kibo. Yeah. So the highest peak, actually Kilimanjaro has three peaks, as I've learned, and the highest one is the Kibo. And then there's Shira and Mauenzi. So Shira is the lowest, then Mauenzi is also above 5,000 and Kibo is the highest of them. That's where we are going in like Friday morning, we'll be up there. <laughs> ah, scared, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Right guys, we made it to our first camp. It's Machame camp at 2,835 met meters of elevation. It's been a bit more than 10 kilometers that we walked. It wasn't very steep, it was actually quite comfortable to walk the whole distance. At the end, it got a little bit steeper sometimes, but never too much, never more than we are used to. Of course, here the air is thinner than what we usually have when we are hiking, but it's still at an elevation that is fine for us. But now we'll just take a break, sit somewhere, drink a little bit, uh, wait for the tents to be set up and for dinner to be served. Right now I think it's, let me check, almost 5 p.m. and by 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. it's already sunset, so it will get dark pretty fast. I think at 7 p.m. it's already dark and you cannot do very much when it's dark. One last view from here, behind me, you can see Kibo Peak, where we are going. And now I'm going to show you how the toilets look here. So if that's not something you want to see, maybe look away for a few seconds. <laughs> it's not like they're ugly, but if you ever want to do this route, you have to know what will be expecting you. It's gross, guys. You heard her, it's gross. This kind of toilet or this kind of toilet. All right, toilets are gone. There are tours, I think, that offer you toilet tents so that you don't have to use them. They are just way more expensive. But if you've got money, look for those tours. This is our camp and this is the mess tent where we'll have our dinner. Welcome to our humble abode. For the next, Avilin is killing her, for the next uh, five nights. This is, for yeah. tonight it's here. And it's a movable home. <laughs> right? It is. Right. We are really grateful to all those great people who are helping us getting up there. I think we'll be able to wash ourselves and then we'll get some tea, and some popcorn. good tea and popcorn. And you said popcorn or peanuts? So popcorn. Oh, peanuts. How are you? I cannot put on my shoes. Right, guys, you see this? This on the ground? It's what is shower. this? shower. <laughs> yep. This is, will actually be the shower for us for the next six days. 
I hope they are gonna change the water. But it's warm and we even got some soap, towels. Well, it's just to wash the arms, face, face and maybe no. the legs that were exposed a little bit, but it's mainly for the face and the hands and the arms. So take a shower, please. <laughs> So honey, where are we here? Where are we? Yes, what's this? Uh, that's the tea tent. Oh, this is where we're gonna eat? Yeah. Are we gonna eat alone all the time? I think so. All right, I didn't know that. They have the bigger tent for themselves, you know, we get the small tent for us too. Yeah. And what do we have here? Um, we have, I'm not sure, uh, this is chocolate malt uh, powder, so I guess ah. something like Ovomaltine. And then we have coffee. We have tea and we have powdered milk, ah, I guess. Yeah, that's powdered milk, and then we have hot water so we can mix our drinks. I feel like I'm at the movies. This yeah. is fresh popcorn. Fresh popcorn, also this yeah. weird stuff that's powdered milk. Powdered Actually, milk. she says it tastes exactly, it tastes like, exactly real milk. like real milk. It's awesome. And popcorn. Mm. Ooh, this is our dinner. What are we having for dinner? We're having cucumber soup. Cucumber soup. Mm, I don't Warm, know if, nice, uh, tasty. And yeah. some toast bread. That's also nice. Yeah. And it's actually very good soup because, well, it's a cucumber soup, as we said, but it's it's very spicy. Or, well, it's got like cucumber or something like that. Like uh, cucumber ginger. ginger, I mean. And it warms you from the inside because it's really getting cold now in the night, as expected. <laughs> and of course, after the exertion, we are tired and colder than usually. So we are looking forward to eating this, going to the toilet, brush our teeth and then go to the tent and sleep until morning. It's a feast! What is it? So there's uh, potatoes. And I think this looks like cabbage, something like that. Meat and it's guacamole or mashed avocados, I don't know. Looks really, really good. Thanks. Now let's dig in. This unbelievably tasty dinner ends our first day of our Kilimanjaro adventure. <laughs>